So for people who haven't been following this news, um, you guys, I think, know that there was a attack by ISOK um, in Kabul at the airport um, when the Americans were leaving. ISOK took advantage of the situation to do an attack. And in response, the United States decided to take revenge. And Joe Biden promised that the people who were responsible for the attack on the Kabul airport, they will, they will, they will see the consequences of their actions, right? That there will be a cost to pay. And the response by the U.S. military was to do a drone strike. Um, yes, music I sing is this Afghan drone strike. Yes, ex yes, that's what it is. The response was to do a drone strike on a car that was as that the United States was saying that this was an ISOK operative in the process of doing an attack, another attack, and their intelligence managed to detect that and they took it down with a drone basically somewhat in response to what biden was promising the retaliation right that the biden was biden administration was promising right so even though that this is already news and we know that that's not actually what happened so what actually happened what, what actually happened was that the car that they took the u.s drone took out had zero ISOK members in it. Not only did it not have zero ISOK member in it, the people that the United States drone took out included seven children. Seven children. And the man that they had suspected that, that was responsible for carrying out the attack was is seem to have been better than most people when it comes to like this guy was an aid worker that his job and his passion was to take food aid to the people who in Afghanistan who needed it that's that's what that's what this guy was like you couldn't have found it would be hard to find find a least a less deserving person. I mean, actually, the children like, might be a good candidate for less deserving, I guess. But then you know, this came out that this was not ice okay, and the, this was three adults and seven children. Ten people, ten innocent people, were just taken out. You know, thinking that. But intel that this was ISIS, right? It's okay. Khorasani ISIS. And I was like, how do you, I, like, when this news came out that this was, these were all innocent people, I was just imagining what kind of, like, how do you, how do you get that wrong? Like, I was waiting to see, like, there was investigations happening, and I was waiting to see. what could it possibly lead to such a bad conclusion right or like what was what were they going by because it just seemed outrageous right i mean united states is supposed to have the world's best intelligence right and then when 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 i waited when everybody waited and when the more information came out about what happened it got even more like unimaginably like it seems like evil it seems like so avoidable like this seems like what somebody would write in a movie script to make the part that took the the people responsible for the drone attack to just be seem like villains that don't care about human lives that's how it reads so just to let you but actually, let's watch this report before I tell you the parts that just makes this unimaginably 
aggravating. I mean, I can't even put into words. And another thing I need to point out is that there's so many other drone attacks, right? The reason why a lot of media went in to investigate this, this one, was because this was on the back of the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. And at that time, this was the U.S. withdrawal and anything surrounding it was a hot topic, right? But these sorts of attack happen all the time. Like there were drone attacks in Afghanistan for 20 years. And those are not those were not being investigated like the, to the depth that this one was being investigated. So I'm, I'm as you know the the question that we should all be asking is like how many other stuff like this has been happening that you know nobody has investigated that they could have been like oh yeah like this was another ISIS okay like we just like people just assume like yeah there was this was like I don't know Al Qaeda or ISIS okay but it wasn't. Anyways, let's look at this report so you guys know that I'm not talking bull crap here that this is actual news. Hold on. The fallout is spreading after the Pentagon's shocking admission that the drone strike in Kabul hit an aid worker and his family, not an ISIS-K member. And as the surviving family members and friends say, an apology is not enough. CB you think? Guys, I can't. This, The fact that this hasn't led into he demands for hearings, like court hearings, like the people, the people that carried out this attack, they're anonymous. The fact that they're not in front of Congress explaining what happened. The fact that Biden is not out there right now asking for a transparently take, telling the United States that this is a disaster, that he's going to take all accountability, that there's going to everybody responsible for this account is going to uh, attack, attack is going to be, you know, fu held fully responsible and punished accordingly. Like the fact that this is like, oh yeah, like the fact that we can the the. The current understanding is that the people who are responsible for this attack are not going to see the consequences unless there's more pressure. The fact that the pressure that should be on the U.S. government that the, the, is not there, like there's not that much of a backlash relative to how sickening of an act this was. The, like it's just extraordinary. Like guys, this is why we shouldn't like you know when I when we keep saying oh yeah Biden did this that was good and Biden did this that was good we shouldn't be like this is what we we should be careful for because then we might be like we should be like maybe unconsciously thinking that okay maybe I shouldn't highlight this because I I have been keep telling telling people that oh Biden is doing this that is great doing that is great and maybe if I if we highlight this or if we talk about this then it might seem like we were wrong but no those things are independently correct but this needs to also be highlighted i mean why is this not if you guys have you have you guys noticed this news like i just want to get a sense of how many people in our community have se have seen this like i want to so i want to see how widespread this news is because this is like if this was if this happened to americans or any other first world country this would be constant be right now constantly be talked about you know what i mean let me see what you Okay, so let's continue. Be a national security. Wait, guys, when when you when people are saying this was just a mistake or a, a bad intelligence, it was so much worse than that, guys. It wasn't bad intelligence because if you actually go look at the reports that have come come out, they had all the information that they needed to see that this was a bad strike. Like, it's not that they okay. So if they didn't have the info that this is bad, this is not ISIS. The fact that they went by information that was so, like they, they, right now it seems that their excuse for carrying out this attack was suspicious material and meetings that this guy was having that they didn't know what the meetings were. Like, what was what the material was? Like the, the stuff that he was carrying, which apparently was water, they like they didn't know what it was, and he was stopping by to have meetings with certain people, and they couldn't. They that seemed suspicious to them. That was the intel that they were going by to to come up with the conclusion, not just with like the the hunch, with a most close to certain opinion. That this guy was ISIL K and he was carrying out an attack. Like the excuses for why 
this seemed like an, this was an ISO, this guy was ice okay. Um, and that he was carrying out an attack. Just seems like, what are you talking about? This cannot be your reason. He was carrying stuff that you don't, you didn't know what it was. And he was having meetings. And apparently this guy was going, this guy's regular day was th the same meeting every day. He would go meet with the uh, security officials to know that, to, to, communicate his schedule with them to make sure that he when he takes food uh, he knows where to go and he doesn't like trigger anything and he, at this time he was now taking water to his family he was taking water to his family because of the water outage and his family needed water and the things that he was carrying that were heavy and they were like the fact that were that they were heavy apparently seemed to fit, make them think that these were like bombs or something that was their indication that oh okay this is suspicious the meetings and the fact that he was carrying heavy stuff apparently was indication enough that oh yeah this guy's eyes okay and he's doing he's about to carry a, a strike furthermore furthermore apparently once they went and checked out their, their own videos the videos that they had access to guys this is the key part okay listen to this listen to this once they went and investigated and they checked the videos they saw that the videos made it clear that this was water and these are not videos that they had after the attack they had vi the video footage for their own from their own drone indicated that this that made it clear that this was water and nothing else so they had the information that if if they had analyzed this attack wouldn't have gone through but they just didn't analyze that and they decided like yep i feel okay carry out attack it's like I, I can't believe like this is the process you go through to make it to determine that beyond reasonable doubt that yes this is a legitimate target it's unbelievable that this is a, this is the process that the u.s military go through and this is the process they go through with a k on an attack that there's so much attention on in response to the president's promise that there's going to be revenge like this is a high case attack and this is the process for it anyways sorry i, I need to play this for you corresponding caitlin burke has more that deadly mistake sparking a pentagon review of the centcom investigation into the strike Plus, renewing the debate about using over-the-horizon capabilities as a counterterrorism strategy. This strike was taken in the earnest belief that it would prevent an imminent threat to our forces and the evacuees at the airport. But it was a mistake, and I offer my sincere apology. Instead of taking out terrorists, however, the U.S. Hellfire missile killed 10 members of the Ahmadi family, including Amal Ahmadi's three-year-old daughter, Malika. I want to for the USA that uh, the, as a, according to the law of the USA that they should punish two persons uh, targeted innocent uh, children, innocent uh, person at my home. The driver of the targeted vehicle was the this is the guy that thought it was ice okay. This is the guy. And apparently, not only he was not ice okay, he was a better person than I ever could be. He was dedicated his life to his career to fight to feeding hungry people who were displaced. That's what's his job. This is the guy that they decided that, oh yeah, ice okay. Marai Akhmadi, a longtime aid worker with a US based group. Rather than carrying explosives, it's believed his Okay, Marcel Werner, you are a bigot, and I am going to ban. I'm not even going to highlight your comment. I'm just going to let you know that you are going to be blocked forever from our live chat. Thank you very much. His car was full of water bottles for his family. Wahid al Zahir, a former co worker of Ahmadi's, tells CBN News his colleague was passionate about humanitarian work. He was working with the Nutrition and Education International and he was just forwarding okay i'm gonna address this right here somebody saying armin do you think uh, general hate against trump is justified yes especially given as bad as this is as bad as this is you could like trump was the person that said in response to to what's happening with taliban he said that the united states military needs to go back to afghanistan completely 
to carry out revenge attacks. So as much as I will condemn this, I would say that this would have been a thousand times worse if Trump was in office, given that I'm not even like guessing. He has officially said that. He came out and said that the guy that said like the Trumpist keeps up like saying, oh, yeah, he wanted to take us out of Afghanistan. He's so great because he wanted to take us out of the, all the, all these places. He himself has came out and said in response to what Biden is doing, that the United States military needs to go back fully in Afghanistan to take revenge attacks. So this is bad, but it would be I mean, this is devastating. This is tragic. This is criminal. People need to be held held accountable for this. People need to be punished for this. But if Trump was in power, it would have been a lot worse. So yes, is there a general hate towards Trump justified? Yes, a thousand times yes. In service to the uh, uh, to the teenager boys and women. Uh, to uh, to end the malnutrition. For days after the drone strike, the Pentagon insisted it had hit its intended target. At this point, we think that the procedures were correctly followed and it was a righteous strike. And a, a, a righteous strike? Who, like, righteous? Who uses that word? Righteous? Like, what is that? Why right? Why would you even use that word? I mean, God President Biden. Sounds like very, I don't know. Biden used the strike as an example of a new over-the-horizon counterterrorism strategy. We can strike terrorists and targets without American boots on the ground, or very few if needed. We've shown that capacity just in the last week. We struck ISIS-K remotely, days after they murdered 13 of our service members. Why are why is not every like he said? Okay, we took out us. Okay, we we did it. Like they came out of after the us. They they attacked the Tal Taliban. The, sorry, the the Kabul airport, and we responded. Look how capable we are. Okay, now we know that that was not true. That's not what happened. So where is he? Like it's been a week. Like why is this not an like national crisis? Why are Americans like not like okay? Why then? He why is the Biden president administration not holding like an emergency meeting and live on TV coming out and saying, "Hey, America, we screwed up. This was horrible. We will find everybody who's responsible, and I am accountable." To, you know, this is this is my administration, so it's my responsibility. I have blood on my hand. Like, where is all of this? This seems like like the, the response to this seems like so inadequate dozens of innocent afghans the new york times first well now okay now you are you are like now you you are like them now you have kinesis oh okay, look at this dozens of innocent afghans you have well you have killed a afghan children your administration is now responsible for killing afghan children i mean yes i know there are many more afghan children like somebody's gonna come in army you act like this is something new okay no, I'm not acting like this. Something new. I know there are a lot of more drone strikes. I know America is responsible for killing a lot more children. I know that they're like, but the fact that this is highlighted, the fact that this is now common knowledge, like the, if there was an investigation and it's now out in the open, like this, the, the fact that there's not a backlash against this because those other ones, they don't even make it to the news. Do you know what I mean? Like the other, like yes, I know United States is responsible for supporting Saudi Arabia, for example, in killing thousands of Yemeni children. I know that. I know that. Uh, but that doesn't even make it on the news. This is now on the news, and we're still not getting a backlash. Thirteen of our service members and dozens of innocent Afghans. The New York Times first raised concerns that civilians had been killed in the strike, not terrorists. Zahir says he knew as soon as he saw Ahmadi had been killed that the U.S. had made a mistake. Looking to his background, uh, his attitude, his social uh, um, attitude with the community, and uh, he was uh, so humble. And... Uh, Yes, I thought uh, he's innocent. On Friday, Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin officially cleared Mr. Ahmadi's name, saying he had no connections to ISIS-K and that his activities were completely harmless. 
Austin has ordered a review of the investigation mm. into the drone strike, saying in a written statement that the purpose is to, quote, consider the degree to which the investigation considered all available context and information, the degree to which accountability measures need to be taken and at what level, and the degree to which strike authorities, procedures, and processes need to be altered in the future. No promises for punishment for people. No promises. Like even in even the officials in response to all of this, they're not saying like, "Oh yeah, we're going to look at our processes. We're going to look at make we made a mistake." There's no accountability. They're like, "Okay, what about the people? What's going to happen to the people that just killed seven children and three innocent adults? What? Who? Who are they? Like they they they're not even giving out their names." They're completely protected. What? Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.